It's a progression over time, but it's also a combination of training and coaching. One of the things that we're very, we're very certain about is that training by itself usually doesn't work. Training sounds good at the time that you're taking it. It makes a lot of sense to people. It can be fun. It can be enlightening. Uh, it, it can really stir up some emotions and get some get the ideas sort of sort of running as well. But at the end of the day, when people leave training, often they don't know how to apply what they've learned. So there's a big gap between theory and practice. And what we do is we bridge that gap. And the way that we bridge the gap is we have very, very clear ways to develop curriculums that incorporate elements of training, but conscientiously include long-term progression through coaching, direct coaching. The coaching sometimes is, is happening one-on-one, -on -one, person to person. Other times it's group coaching, depending on the dynamics of the organization. But the idea is that unless an individual has a way to guide themselves and be guided towards using new ideas or new technologies or, or, or methodologies for improvement, left to their own devices, they probably won't. And if, and if they do, they're going to experience failure. That's sort of built into it. When they experience failure, there's, there's a high likelihood that they're going to either give up or decide that it doesn't work. So it's through coaching and through direct contact with, uh, with us and our consultants and our trainers and coaches that our clients are able to discover, first of all, within any given methodology, what about it they can use, what about it works for them, what about it doesn't, through the practice of it and through the ongoing connection that they have with us over time in which they're trying things out, learning from the, the experience of it, making adjustments, trying it again, learning again, making new adjustments, and it's a progressive thing over time.